Welcome to my home. My name is Miss Nevin. I'm here today to read you a story. Connie, the Vineyard Pie Girl by Don Davis. I love this book because it's about a girl who lives in my town, West Tisbury. I know her grandmother and her grandfather. Hope you like this as much as I do. This is a story about a seven-year-old girl named Connie who had a dimple in the middle of her right cheek. She was very, very pretty. Connie got up early every morning except Sunday to help her grandmother, Nanny B, bake pies. Nanny B baked pies and lots of other things, but especially fruit pies, like apple, blueberry, rhubarb, peach. How many of you have grandmothers that bake pies? If you do, you're very lucky. About 10 o'clock in the morning, Connie's grandfather, Roger, opens the pie shop gazebo out front on State Road so that people driving by would stop and Roger would put out an American flag and a nice sign that said, Ellen's Pies and Otherwise. There's the gazebo. Maybe some of you have seen it as you pass by in West Hillsbury. Starting when she was about seven, Connie began making pies all by herself to enter in the Ag Fair. Over the years, she won many ribbons, some blue. Connie had lots of jobs in the bakery. She made the pie boxes by folding pieces of cardboard. Before the pies were baked, she crimped the edges of the dough. Her fingers were so small, she made some crimps, like Nanny B. Then Connie scored each pie with different marks. Two marks for the apple, three for the blueberry, and X for the peach. The X was for peach because Nanny B said that they were the hardest to make. After the pies were baked, crimped and marked, Connie put them into boxes. There you go. Then she wrote on each box the kind of pie that was inside. Connie's playful nature often led to hiding things like Granny B's rolling pin. Everyone laughed except Nanny B. Sometimes there were so many pies piled up on the gazebo counter that you could barely see the top of Roger's head. It was also Connie's job to carry the pies out to her grandfather's pie shop gazebo. She was told to never open the boxes because dirt or flies might get in and ruin the pies. But she loved the smell of pies so much, especially strawberry, rhubarb that sometimes on the way to the gazebo, she opened the box just a little to get that wonderful smell. Ah, the cat likes it too. <laughs> Once she opened the box to enjoy the smell, she tripped on a rock. Connie, the pie, and the box all went up in the air. Poor thing.
When they all came down, Connie's face and clothes were smeared with red strawberry and rhubarb juice. Luckily, Nanny B had an outside shower. She told Connie to get in, clothes and all. When she came out of the shower, she was so wet that it was hard to tell that she was crying. But Nanny B could tell. After she cleaned off her off and wiped away the tears, she told her that it was all right, that sometimes accidents just happen and it's really no one's fault. This made Connie feel a lot better, but Connie still knew that it was her fault. She didn't see the rock because she was smelling the pies. She never again tried to smell the pies when she was carrying them out to her grandmother's gazebo. Here's a picture of Connie for real. This is a true story. That's a picture of her all grown up. There, I hope you liked that story as much as I do. If you have a special book you'd like me to read, let us know at the club. All right, take care.